Dennis, do hurry up, it's time for bed. You know what this boy needs? Yes, I do, dear. A good wash. Now, let's get him out of those messy pyjamas. I'm sorry, Dennis. You'll have to make do with his old pyjamas. All your new ones are in the wash. But I can't wear floppy bunnies. Of course you can, dear. They make you look sweet. What if somebody sees me? Don't be silly, Dennis. You're about to go to bed. Who's going to see you now? <laughs> now, I want you on your best behaviour tonight, whilst Mum and I are out. You're going out? <laughs> yes! 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 Home alone! I get to eat anything I want, watch loads of TV, and then... Foil rubbers! With traps and tripwires and cunningly placed pots of paint. Nothing so exciting, I'm afraid. We've arranged a babysitter. A babysitter? But I'm not a baby. Uh, who'd be mad enough to want to babysit me? Colonel reporting for babysitting duties, sir. <laughs> Clean, brushed, and ready for bed, sir. Good work, men. Train hunt company to bed. Wow. Oh, aren't they sweet? All tucked up and ready for sleepy times. <laughs> A little discipline and a well-made bed. That's what won us the war. Oh, I am enjoying this. Oh, well, Nasha. At least it can't get worse. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> oh, yes. One other thing, Dennis. Walter's parents had trouble finding a babysitter. So, he's sleeping over... <laughs> ..with you! <laughs> This way, please. What is all this? 
Yes! Just a few of our favourite things. We couldn't possibly sleep in a strange house without them. I wrong! May I be the first to compliment you on your fine choice of nightwear? Oh, well, Nasha. At least it really can't get any worse. Well, good night, boys. We're off now. To the parent-teacher evening at your school. But how can it be parent-teacher evening already? We've only been back at school two days. Time enough to get a sense of your progress, Dennis. And mine. My ears will burn with joy at all the nice things they'll say about me. But you can't do this to me! You know how much I love to go to the parent-teacher evening? You mean how much you love to go to the parent-teacher evening and wreck it? When did I wreck it? Well, there was the time you rerouted the local motorcycle rally. Stop! Stop! Oh, but it was an accident. I was trying to give them their flag back. And the time you released that enormous swarm of mutant moths? That was a science project that went horribly wrong. And that time you saw through the floor of the hall and gave us all a surprise trip to the school boiler room? Woodwork was never my strong point. Hey, wait a minute. Saw through the floor? I don't remember that one. No, that's because you've not done it yet. And you never will. You are staying put from now on. I'll see to that. Good night, boys. Sleep tight. Oh, well, Nasha. At least it really, really, really can't get any worse than this. Look, Dennis. Another bunny rabbit. Ah! Yes, one pepperoni pizza, one vegetarian and one camouflaged. Oh. And a side order of shrapnel. Colonel, can I have a glass of water? And one glass of water. Not again. I need another glass of water. No, no more water. Could you tell me a bedtime story? I can't sleep without a bedtime story. No. A bedtime story? Sometimes, Walter, you really have some, uh, good ideas. How about a war story? A war story, eh? Well, that's different. Now, let me see. It was back in 45. Or was it 54? Fifi and Trixie Bell don't like war stories. They get scared. My platoon was surrounded on all sides. Infantry to the left of me, cannon to the right. And sneaking up from behind me, an enraged cow, whose field we had wandered into. <laughs> In those days, Dennis, we didn't have any radios. We had to use Morse code, even when we met each other face to face. Ooh, my friends and I learnt Morse code at Sea Scouts. Bet we're better than you. Never. So why don't you show me then? What would you like me to say? Curly, pie face, come quickly. Need reinforcements. Must invade school tonight. Simple. What? <laughs> That's very strange, Professor. Someone seems to be flashing at us. Do you know what this means? <laughs> time to test the Weapon X! All in good time, Professor. We're a top secret testing ship, and we've got lots of inventions to try. It seems to be Morse code. Enzyme, write this down. Dot dash dot dot dash. Dennis is sending us a message. That's nice. And it's not even my birthday. He says he needs our help. We have to get over to his house. 
But what about our babysitter? No problem. There's Dot, Dot, there's a... There. We simply feed the code into the decoder and then... Eureka! Well? It says, Curly onto pie face, come quickly. Need reinforcements, must invite school tonight. But what does it all mean? Pie face? Is the secret code name of a vast invasion force from the evil empire of Colandia or Curly for short? At last, the message makes sense. <laughs> now, can we use Weapon X? And now, I'd like to show you an example of our finest students' work. This was done by Walter. You know, sometimes I think it's so unfair the way the spotlight always falls on our Walter. Whereas this is an example of our worst student's work, Dennis. Yes! took you so long. Sorry, Dennis, but digging this tunnel wasn't easy. Yeah, because your bedroom's on the first floor. Shh! We've got no time to lose. Sing! Go to sleep, go to sleep. Don't wake up, we're escaping. Be very careful. My room's been booby trapped. Come on, Pie Face. What are you waiting for? What, what, what if one of them bites me? Pie Face? They're stuffed. They've eaten already? Good. <laughs> no, no, not the hamsters. They're coming to get me. Oh, what? Deceit! Deception! Infamy! What? 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 What now? It's Dennis! It's Dennis! It is yeah. gone! Must warn the school! After him, men! I'll hold the fort here! Hunt down that deserter! Hurry up! Parent-teacher night will be over soon, and Walter will be teacher's pet for yet another year. We don't have much time. What's your plan, Dennis? Presenting the secret Dennis supply room. Ta -da! Wow! That's deep. Gentlemen, our country is facing a very grave threat. We must act now. We must launch weapon X. Scramble these special boat chappies. Oh, the fluid. For the highlight of our evening, our annual Good Parenting Award. Oh, goody. <laughs> Should I use last year's acceptance speech or next year's? Oh. And not forgetting the world's largest custard pie. Largest pie? Sorry, Pie Face, but it's not for eating. The world's largest custard pie is a very important part of our plan. I thought we didn't have a plan. When you have the world's largest custard pie, you don't need a plan. Deep. Oh, no, no, oh, let me, let me go. Leave me alone, I wonder why he's in such a hurry. This 
this is going just great! Until now! Ouch! Water? Water? Out for a midnight yeah. snack, boys. Something like that. Give me that! No good. Yes! Must warn the grown ups! Must tell on Dennis! And the best parenting award goes to. <laughs> <laughs> is the ultimate weapon. Or oh, perhaps we've gone too far. Then again, maybe not. Let's splatter them! Wait for it, wait for it. You never know. The award might go to someone else. Oh, go on. Ready? Aim! Fire! Well, what a surprise. The award goes to... I think the elastic was a bit too powerful. Prepare to... Ugh. Oh, so they want to play dirty and ugh, sticky, do they? May I make a suggestion, sir? Launch weapon X. Oh, joy! <laughs> What is it, Walter? What are you trying to say? Uh, uh, Dennis. I thought so. Right. That's enough of this childish behaviour. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you, you think this is clever, don't you? It's all right, everyone. No need to panic. It's just my son and his friends in silly disguises. At your age, Curly. Pie face. Give me that toy. And as for you, Dennis, where are you? Stop! <laughs> oh, very good, Dennis. Now, What's it supposed to be? A shark, a robot, or Godzilla? <laughs> OK, Dennis. Playtime is over. Come out of there this minute. Dennis's dad, this is the most inspiring example of parental control under difficult circumstances that I have ever seen. Please accept this award. Did you hear me, Dennis? Has anyone seen a flying bucket of, uh, stuff? <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> hey, Nasha, it's toothpaste time! Nash, Nash, Klinger! Going down! First stop, the boiler room. Brilliant plan, Dennis. That wasn't my plan. Dad gave me the idea. Wow, that's steep. Oh, Dad. <laughs> and 
though I never thought I'd see this day, it gives me great pleasure to present this new award for saving the school to the most inspiring parent and son, Dad and Dennis. Hooray! But Father, it was Dennis! He... I know you think you're a bit of a hero, but I don't want you getting any ideas. Something funny's been going on here. <laughs> and what happened to your babysitter? Oh, very well then, if you insist. Just <laughs> one more time. It was back in 45, or was it 54? My platoon was surrounded on all sides. Infantry to the left of me, cannon to the right, and sneaking out from behind, a large cow. Or was it a bull? Well, it's very hard to tell when you're running away. Anyway, I left this five-barred gate, turned round and faced him eye to eye. <laughs> Thank you.